Hey there, Magic players. Barry White here from MagicUntapped.com and Magic Untapped right here on YouTube. If you are a commander player or just a Magic content consumer, you probably recognize the man here right next to me. This is Dana Roach, EDH Rec, one of the, uh, I think, foremost authorities on Magic the Gathering and definitely miles above me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Of course. And speaking of things about Magic the Gathering, it's been a whirlwind. Even just the last couple weeks have been a whirlwind. How has it been for you? In the last couple weeks have been a heck of a year for sure um, <laughs> it's been a lot to process and deal with I mean it, and it doesn't end we even had like some rule change stuff that came up this weekend and yeah. a bunch more announcements and it is it is just kind of never-ending it really right now it, it just seems like it's coming from all sides all yeah, angles absolutely uh, but let's 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 kind of talk a little bit about that uh, starting with just all that upheaval with Commander, something you are very, very uh, specific on, Commander. Uh, yeah, that, it's, it's, it's the way I play the game 95% of the time. It's what I kind of love about Magic. It's what brought me back into Magic after not playing for years. Um, so yeah, it's... The story for a lot of people, Commander yeah. got them back into the game. And that has gone through a whole upheaval. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really curious to learn your thoughts about it. Um, I, I'm torn. Like I, I do think in the grand scheme of things, the cards that got banned, and not having them in the format is probably better for the majority of people. That's not to say some folks didn't get burned. I think in the grand scheme of things over a long timeline, we're better off not having the cards around. I also understand why some folks didn't necessarily love how suddenly the bands came. I mean, everyone assumed Mana Crypt would never go anywhere. Right, what's kind of a shock? Yeah, um, so I don't know if there's a better way to have done it, but it feels like the way it happened definitely cause problems and, and, and I, I I don't have a solution necessarily but it it was was a was an issue for sure and um, you know moving ahead all of a sudden there's 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 no uh, there, there's there, there's no CAG we now yeah. have the commander panel uh, do you think things are, are, are progressing well considering where where they started off just a couple weeks ago uh, I, yes um, I, I don't love the idea of Wizards of the Coast controlling the format because I think they are incentivized to do some to do things for profit in a way the rules committee wasn't they have a stake right yeah yeah and I worry about that um, on the other hand having people like Gavin Verhey in charge who genuinely loves Commander and genuinely gets the format and they brought a lot of the people that were on the rules committee and keg in to work on this new version of the rules committee as well um, that alleviates a lot of my concerns I still don't entirely trust <laughs> you know in the grand scheme of things that like WotC won't push some things that I think aren't right. maybe good for Commander because it sells packs. But I'm open-minded and I'm trying to be positive and I will I will assume the best until I have a reason not to assume the best. So essentially glass half full on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think there's some downsides. I also understand why, given the reaction from a lot of people towards the, the, the rules committee in particular, why they didn't want to be doing that anymore. I think that's a pretty reasonable, if you're getting death threats and you're getting a lot yeah, of... Yeah, no, it was serious. Yeah, yeah. And even things that weren't up to the point of death threats, like people talked about death threats, but like there was still a lot of like hate levied their way that maybe didn't cross that line, but still doesn't make it okay. And I get why after all of that, they didn't want to deal with it anymore. So um, that makes sense. I mean, in a way, thankfully, Wizards was fine stepping in though. Yes, yeah, um, because somebody would have had to, right? right I, I don't right. know what the alternative would have been. It may have been chaos for a while. We, we, right, we don't know, don't know. So I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that this works out good in the long term, but it, it wasn't ideal. Even beyond Commander, we've had a whole lot of announcements um, that have been, you know, received one way or another. Um, we've seen some Foundation stuff, and it looks promising. Yeah. Um, it looks like what Portal should have been 20 years ago, <laughs> right, really. Exa right, exactly. Yeah. They, they've kind of figured it out. I, I remember thinking when, when Magic Origins came out, which at this point is like six-ish, seven it's years been a ago. Minute. It's been a minute. That, that felt like they finally figured out how to do core sets right. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they stopped doing... Yeah, they corsets yeah so I, I, I'm, I'm i'm hoping and it seems like they have they figured that out for foundations and they're building off of what they've learned with previous like problems or things that weren't successful and things that were successful and i'm really looking forward to to that product and seeing how that impacts standard and all formats of the form. and as far as the actual magic ip sets i can't believe i have to use the term magic ip right. sets these days but the other magic ip sets i mean they've teased a little bit they've shown some things and at least on the surface, they look they look appealing. Yeah, and I'd say uh, interesting. 
Yeah, I, I, I agree. And it's also one of those things like the ship has sailed. Mm -hmm. um, we've already gotten so many of these that, I mean, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Universes Beyond necessarily, but it's here and like they're clearly printing more and more yeah. of them. So you can either kind of get on board and accept like this is what magic looks like now, or you can get mad and that's not going to change anything. So right. I, I've, I, I've chosen to just accept it and embrace it. And like I'm going to, I'm going to see Optimus Prime and uh, SpongeBob and the Golden Girls or whatever like yeah. comes along down the road on magic cards and that is what it is and, I'll, and it'll be and, fine. And SpongeBob is really a thing for those yeah, of you absolutely. who missed yeah. it. It yeah. is going to be a thing. Yeah. When you saw that, what went through your head? So I initially thought it was a joke. I yeah. did too. Well, like the Golden Girl thing I just I just referenced. Yeah. That. I didn't think that was serious. Like, oh, they're actually doing SpongeBob. Which, which at this point, though, again, it isn't surprising. Everything seems to be fair game. Right. I'm waiting for the, the nerf so, or the nerf or nothing secret layer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. It, 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 and. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean it doesn't bring a ton of people into the game. And that's probably good for everyone. And things don't have to True. be good for me to be good or, or be, to be liked by me to be good for magic. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I know it's going to happen though. Someone's going to play Patrick and I'm just going <laughs> to do this yeah, and be right, like, yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> we're moving on. Whose turn is it? Yep, exactly. You know? And, and it'll be fun every time. It'll be funny every single time you do that. I mean, honestly, eventually I might just laugh at it. Sure, right, yeah. For the absurdity of it. Absolutely. But until I can laugh at it, personally, I'm kind of, I'm kind of crying a little bit. Sure, yeah. Because it's yeah. not the magic I grew up with. It is with. not. No, and I feel the same way. I'm a magic boomer. I, I, I'm, I want to see a really specific kind of world that, that feels a certain way. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily necessarily even love the old west theme kind of stuff or whatever yeah but like i said it, it is it, it's it brings people in and it's probably good for magic overall and i'm, I'm along for the ride well then using your expertise just let's look at six 12 months what do you think the the overall uh, thoughts about magic just as a whole game are going to be six 12 months from now i think there'll be some growing pains because i think we're going to keep bringing in new players who are coming in because they wanted a Captain America card or Wolverine or they wanted, you know, once if hypothetically a Star Trek so gets announced or Star Wars or Dune or whatever we wind up who getting, knows? we'll bring in a whole new fan base and there's always going to be growing pains as those people become part of the magic world and everyone gets used to everyone who wasn't here all along. Sometimes people in these hobbies aren't the best at and dealing with an influx of new players. Change can be hard. Yeah, absolutely. But I think over a long timeline, it's going to be good for everyone. It'll be good for the format. And it's going to, we're going to keep seeing these events. We're at, we're at Vegas right now. Right. The, the, it's going to be bigger next year. It'll be bigger the year after that. And I think that's good for all of us. Well, Dana, thank you very much for joining, uh, joining us here on Magic Untap. I hope you guys found this as enlightening as I did. Again, thank you for Dana Roach of uh, EDH Rec. I'm Barry White from Magic Untap, and we'll see you in the next video.